Okay, Monday, 28th of October, 2023. Adrian's daily vlog, sharing smart stuff men should know. Money Monday, Bitcoin and all the other things, everything else. Corruption, inefficiency, and the surface to area volume ratio. Now this is a very interesting concept in biology called the area surface to volume ratio, something akin to that, which talks about how big animals, an elephant for example, has a lot of calories and it, and it, can, and it can afford to be wasteful and inefficient with those calories in a sense of being alive and maintaining life. Because it, it can be inefficient because it has so many calories and so much energy, it doesn't matter losing some kilojoules here, kilojoules there. It's, that waste and inefficiency is okay. That margin of inefficiency is quite big. But a smaller animal with a smaller surface to area volume ratio, such as a mouse, has to be very specific and tight and, and really scrutinized and really efficient with its energy, with its calories. It can't afford much waste, much inefficiency. It has to be very on point with what it eats and how it uses that energy, where it goes, what it does. Therefore, its margin of error is much slimmer, meaning it has fewer room to make mistakes. The elephant, because there's so much energy, so many kilojoules, so much, an abundance of calories, it can afford to be inefficient here and there, or this part of the body is efficient or whatever else. But the mouse has to be very on point, very strict. Now, we take those principles, large organization or animal, small organization, animal, and we can say, a big company, we understand, has a large margin of error. It can afford, nominally in absolute terms, more inefficiency, corruption, waste, etc., than as opposed to a startup can. A startup has to be very, very strict, very, very lean, and with its, with its money and budget and performance has to be on point. Its wiggle room, for example, for, for doing a deal, for example, is much tighter than it would be a big company. Uh, because they have other customers, they've got the money, the cash reserves, they've got the reputation, they can let it slide. They can afford to slack a little bit because uh, who else are they going to come to? The big big company has a monopoly on reputation, for example. For a small company, they have to be a wheeler dealer, they have to perform. They can't allow, they have to, they can't allow many, or much efficiency. They have to be on point, very strict, all the pennies and pounds have to be very, very powerful, very, very on point. Or we can say, take those principles as well and apply that to individual people. A person who's rich might not care about the price of something, might not care about how much this is going to cost, that's going to cost, whatever else. It might want the experience, might want the thing, the end goal, or the lack of headache, you don't have to worry about things. Whereas a person on a budget would have, be, would have to be very, very strict, very, very on point, be careful what he buys and how much he spends on this and that and that and this. Very interesting. So it's worth understanding that in life there's a certain level of margin of error I did a video like this actually a few months ago, within reason. There's a certain margin of error we can allow with waste, with inefficiency, with paying too much, or paying to paying again, or having to buy this and buy that, this little DLC or this upgrade, whatever else. Some people can afford it, not worry about it at all. Yeah, what, what upgrades, what upsells are they? I'll have that, I'll have that. Yeah, sure, sure. Give me, give me, give me. I'll pay. No worries. The other person will be like, no, it's too much. No, can you go less? No, 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 not that one. This one here, no, this one's got a better deal. More, more, better deal, cheaper, whatever else. Has to be more strict. And it's worth understanding that. Being aware of that principle in life, in business, in animals and everything. It's, under, it's worth understanding that in all institutions, organisations, animals, countries, you name it, companies, there's going to be some level of efficiency, human nature, inefficiency, corruption, nepotism, you name it. But that degree of it will, deter will be determined by how big the, uh, big the organization is, how big reputation is, its budget, its, its surplus, its balance sheet, you name it, that. A big company can afford lots of waste. Ah, because there's plenty more money, there's more customers. Ah, there's always more, don't worry about it, Just, yeah, whatever. But a startup has to be very strict, very, very lean. Person on a budget, strict and lean. Person with an abundance of money, no worries, yeah, yeah, whatever, just buy two, yeah, I don't really care about the price. Exactly. We're not bothered. That, worth understanding that. It's worth understanding that in general and being aware of it, because that affects 
and influences people's actions and behaviours and priorities and values. When money becomes immaterial and not have to worry about things, then people will be more sloppy, less efficient, a little, little more down to earth, not worry about the price. Yeah, don't worry, just we'll, 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 we'll pay it off. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll take one of those, I'll take two of those, no problems. Whereas over here, more strict, more precise, more exact, more disciplined. Not to say neither of these are good or bad, it's just an observation. It's an interesting mix between force of nature and biology, surface to area volume ratio, and human performance, human action. Companies and small companies, big companies, people, rich and poor. Exactly, it's very powerful. Very, very powerful. Because I did another video a few weeks ago now, a week or two ago, I can't remember, talking about how we're all atoms, we're all connected. Everything fundamentally is connected. When you squint hard enough, you can see patterns in everything, it's all connected. And there's an example of it. An elephant can afford to be wasteful and inefficient, and it won't it hasn't it will not have the critical mass of inefficiency that can jeopardize its life. Just how with a company, just how with a person with an abundant abundance of money, with the opposite side, the mouse, the startup, the person on a budget, the, the critical mass is a lot tighter, that margin of error is a lot tighter. Very important to understand this. Very important. But otherwise, Adrian's daily vlog, sharing smart stuff men should know. Subscribe for more, and you will see me tomorrow.